Today let's learn how to search for drafts on handweaving.net. There are a variety of ways to search and we'll go through all the important ones. So one thing to note is that every pattern or every draft on this site has a draft number and you'll frequently see drafts referred to by their number. So if you happen to know the number, there's a search box in the upper right hand corner of every page and you can find a draft by its number. So let's search for draft number 74299. So I type the number into the box and now I'm going to hit this magnifying glass next to it. And it finds all the drafts that match that number. And in this case, there's one and here it is. So I'm going to click on that and it will show me the draft. So that's how you search for drafts by number. So you can also search for drafts using that same box by keyword. So I'm going to type the word hearts into the box. I'm going to hit the magnifying glass again. And now all the drafts on the site that have hearts in the title or in the description or in a tag or some, somewhere associated with the draft, they all come up. And in this case, we have 26. So one thing I can do, these, these require all different numbers of shafts, numbers of treadles, etc. But if I have a loom, then I know its capabilities and I only want to see things I could weave. I can use these filter boxes in the upper right to limit the set of drafts to things I could weave. So maybe I have an eight shaft loom, so I'll set the maximum shafts to eight. So that results in fewer fewer drafts shown that match, which is what we're after. And maybe I only have 10 treadles, so I will set treadles to 10, and now we drop from 15 to 12 shown. And maybe this is for fabric that can't have long floats, so maybe I want the maximum float to be four. So I'll set that. Now I only have two left. And maybe I want exactly eight shafts and not up to eight shafts. So I'll set the minimum shafts to be eight also. And in that case, it, it limited us to one result, but it meets all these criteria. So these filters follow you around the site. Once you set them, until you clear them, they remain in effect. So if you do more searching, they're automatically there. But it's something to note. If you're not seeing all the results you think you might want to see, then try the clear filters box and that will get rid of them. So any, any anywhere the filters are shown, you can hit this clear filters link and it will clear them. And we're back to all the hearts results again because we're not filtering. Okay, so now let's look at some other ways to search. There's a menu for drafts called drafts right here. And if you click on that, by default, it shows you all the collections on the site. Currently, there are 72 collections. We're about to add more, but that's what we got right now. And each of these came from some original source, and we show the title in a thumbnail. So as you scroll down, one of the ways that you can search for drafts is just by clicking the original source that it came from. And we'll just pick one here. And as soon as you do that, all the drafts from that source are shown, and they're always shown, this is interesting, in the same order as in the original. So as you page through the collection, by default, the drafts will be listed. If you had the paper book in front of you and you're paging through the paper book, the, the drafts are in the exact same order. And one thing you can do is click the Show Details box. So let's say you are sitting there with the paper book and you want to see which is which. You can click this, and it will show you you know, this one, for example, came from page 16, and it's number one. This is page 17, number one, etc. So every every draft on the site you can do this with. Every search results you can hit show details, and it will it will show you that. It makes it easy to correlate the paper copies with the draft shown online. Um, I got the same filters we showed before. I can do that again. One other thing to note is there's this thumbnail size box here, and by default, your thumbnails will be small, but if you want them larger, you can you can make this bigger. We allow four sizes here from small through largest. Largest is obviously easier to see, but then fewer drafts show up at a time, so you have to scroll more. But And this, this like the filters thing, will follow you around the site. Once you set this, if you're signed in, it will remain until you change it. So. Okay, let's look at some other ways to search from the same drafts menu. There's the search for drafts button. The first thing underneath it is search by collection, and that's just like the thumbnails that we showed a second ago, except that the collections are listed in alphabetical order in a, in a, in a box instead, and you can choose them from there. So we'll just pick one here. There it is. 
Let's go back to that search menu again. Okay, search for keyword or ID. That is exactly like the box that we showed first where you can type a keyword or ID. I'm not gonna show it again now. Search for tag. Drafts on the site can be tagged and you can add tags to any draft to help other people find them. And the search by tag will show you all the different tags that have been added by anyone. And the bigger the writing is on the tag, the more drafts that have that tag. So. For example, this shadow weave one here is kind of medium sized so that we know that there's some drafts tagged that way. And then some of the smaller ones, maybe there's only one or two, but let me just click shadow weave. These are all the drafts that are tagged to shadow weave and there are 36 found. I've got the same filter controls. I could filter by maximum shafts, by treadles, etc. I've got the same show details box. I can see which books they came from or which original sources. And that's interesting here because they're all different. Um, they've been tagged to Shadow Weave, but they're not all from the same original source. But by clicking that, you can tell very quickly which is which is from which. So let's look at some other things under the draft search menu. Um, we've got search by board. Boards are collections that you can create. And when you make one, your name is associated with it. And then when someone clicks it, they can see everything that you've put into it. So you could use this for all kinds of purposes. Maybe you just want to have some things you find interesting that you group and show to others. Maybe you're teaching a class or a course and or maybe like a, a guild presentation, something like that. You can you can make your own collections of drafts with this feature. So underneath the menu here, um, the draft the draft boards menu, if we go search for drafts and then search by board, it will show the boards created by anyone. And right now we have three pages of them. As there get to be more, we'll have to add some better way to organize these, but this is what we have at the moment. So we'll just click on one that says diamonds and see what see what that's got in it. So here are patterns with diamonds that someone found and stuck onto a board named diamonds. So that's the boards feature. Um, let's go back and look at a few more of the searching options. So most like drafts. So we have a like feature on drafts. Um, let's get a draft open and I'll show it to you. Let's just pick, oh, I don't know, this one here. If I click the like button, it records that someone liked that draft. And that's what's used to choose the drafts for this feature. We show the drafts in order by the number of people who've liked them. So this, this draft right here happens to be the most liked draft on the site. It's a chorus effect pattern. Um, so that's most liked. And popular drafts, this has been on the site for a long time. And these are the most viewed or most downloaded patterns, the most access patterns on the site. So they're the ones that most people have looked at or done something with. And you don't choose these manually like you do with like. These the, We just record when someone looks at a pattern or downloads it, the fact that it's been accessed and then that's used to to find these later. So it's kind of interesting to see what other people find useful. Let's go back to the search again. Newest drafts. These are the ones that have been most recently uploaded to the site. And that's either our staff doing it or site visitors in the case of the ones that you're seeing right now. These were contributed fairly recently. Um, this is pretty interesting to check often because new patterns are added all the time and you can you can find all the new ones by doing this. And this is a feature that we added a long time ago. It was surprisingly popular and we called it surprise random drafts. And this just chooses 50 drafts completely at random from the site, from all the, all the many thousands that we have. And it's kind of an interesting way to discover new things. But every time you choose that, the drafts will be different. So if I go back and do it again, they'll be different than the ones that, that I just showed. If I hit also I can just hit show more random drafts and it'll reload a new a new set of 50 more so if you're bored or just curious about what you can find that's one way you can do it so one other thing I'd like to show we have what's called a same threading search it's one final way to search for drafts so let's go back to the draft collections and we'll just pick one I'll pick the one that I had earlier if I can find it again here it is and we'll choose a draft from within it. Let's see. Maybe this one. Okay. So, so from the draft detail page, this is a subscriber feature. I can click the, um, the actions button 
And if I click the same threading, it will find all of the other drafts on the site that have the same threading or the same treadling turned, which becomes the threading, uh, as the one I'm looking at. So the threading is right here on the top. And if I click same threading, every other draft, and there happen to be 23 more on the site that have that threading are shown. And that's really cool because you can thread your loom once and you can weave like any of these projects with that same threading. So it can save a lot of time. So that's it for draft searching for today. Thank you for watching and hopefully you learned some things that are useful.